What's going on, friends and fans? Ryan Dorn here, your friendly neighborhood sales coach. And this week, we're talking about using videos as a part of your total sales process. Now, for me, it typically all starts with a self-service sales portal. So some of you might have a website for your sales team. Sometimes it's just a section of your website. But keep in mind, friends, you don't want to have a contact us page that says, fill out a form and somebody will get back to you within 24 hours. Come on, you're better than that. The vast majority of the people that are out there want to get the vast majority of the information that they need without ever having to talk to a salesperson. Now, let me just be really clear. I am not an advocate of replacing salespeople with automated systems. I think we've seen that tried with AI in sales and let's be honest, you've gotten some of those emails and they're junk for the most part. That's why I'm not looking for AI or technology to replace salespeople. Good for us, right? Salespeople are going to be here for a very long time. Rock on with our bad selves. What I am suggesting to you though is that a self-service sales portal is a great place to be able to do videos about your company, about the audience that you reach, about the demographics that you uh, take care of. Uh, maybe you could have a video that's testimonials of the various clients, advertisers, whatever that you're working through. See, a lot of times, whether you're dealing with an agency that might be buying media from you, if you're one of my media clients, or you're somebody that's dealing with a lot of third-party outside folks, see, a lot of people, they don't want to read an email or read a book or read a PDF, but guess what? They will watch a video. So I think the first place to use videos is in your self-service sales portal. Make sure they're really easy. Now, a lot of you, you don't do videos because you're like, Ryan, I don't have my name behind me. I don't have fancy lights. I don't have a big microphone. Okay, you don't need all those things. Just be authentic, be you as a part of the sales process. Now, if you're doing corporate videos, you might want to take some time, make sure the script makes sense, go to voice talent talentnow.com, pay to have somebody from Hollywood record the audio. I mean, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars. Right here on my Mac, I can record and produce about any video that you need, so I'm confident you can as well. All right, that's the self-service sales portal. Okay, now, how about as a part of your sales process? Okay, so let's walk through the process. I'll tell you exactly what I do. When someone submits a lead to me, one of the first things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tool like Loom, L-O-O-M, or a tool like Vidyard, or Soapbox, I and mean, there's all kinds of them that are out there, and I wanna record an introduction back to the person that submitted the lead. So if a lead came in from Bill Smith or Bonnie Smith, I'd fire up Loom and I'd say, hey Bill, hey Bonnie, my name is Ryan Dorn, and I'm gonna be your advisor here as you work with us at such and such a company. I wanted you to put a face with a name, and I'm really pride myself in personalized outreach, personalized customer support, personalized service for you, and so on and so forth. And I just record that. Now, I am one of those people that I get up in the morning, I work from home, but I shower like I'm going to work, I get my hair ready like I'm going to work. I do always wear a blue shirt of some kind, blue's kind of my color. You know, I wear that, wear that blue shirt every day, but you don't have to have something fancy. Now, if you are one of those people though that does work from home, you wanna make sure that you don't look like a webcam zombie when you're recording these videos and make sure you do it in some type of quiet environment. As a matter of fact, one of my most popular videos on YouTube, look it up, is how not to be a webcam zombie. Be sure to check that out. It'll give you some recommendations and tell you the lights that I use and where to buy this microphone and all this other fancy kind of stuff. But you really don't need that. You just need to be authentic, make sure you're in like a a quiet background and those kind of things. All right, so that's what I do when a lead comes in. Now let's talk about as a further part of the sales process. When someone sends me an email, and I know that it's gonna take me five, eight, 10, 20 minutes to reply, I just fire up a video. Now, as a matter of practice, I use Loom a lot, L-O-O-M, it's a Chrome extension, plug-in, very affordable, and I will reply with a video to the email. Now, I know a lot of you, you're like, oh my gosh, a, a video, I need to have all the notes in my CRM. Most video services will also provide you a transcription as well that you can copy and paste into the notes of the CRM. What I find is that people don't read emails, but they will watch a video and they really appreciate the fact that I'm giving up a personalized reply. So that's the second thing that I do. The third thing that I do as a part of the sales process is I just like to make sure that I'm doing things different. See, so many salespeople out there, they're email all the time, they're text all the time, 
time and they don't use video, a vibrant part of the total sales process. And I just want to encourage you to always use video. Get good at it. Get comfortable with it. It really is the way that people are selling these days. Friends, never forget, if sales was easy, everybody be doing it, and they're not. We're not crazy. I used to say we're crazy. We're not crazy, friends. This is a great career. It will feed your family for a lifetime. Love to come to your office. Love to train your team. Love to speak at your national sales conference. Get your team all pumped up. You can always reach out to me over at RyanDorn.com. All right, friends, we'll see you next week. Get out there and do some videos, would you?